Hello, are you ready for another week of sharing images from the photo challenge? I am so excited. I have really enjoyed this. One thing that I apparently did not make clear is if you go to my website, photographybycharlesc.com, um, you can see it on the left. There's a, a little drop down that says photography challenge. If you click that and put in your email, I will email you a wallpaper for your phone that has all of the um, challenges on it. So if you ever forget, you can just have them at your fingertips and you can kind of plan ahead if that's your jam. So I am recording this a couple of days late. Um, on Monday night, I was going to record, but I had some unexpected company. My oldest son, Ethan, popped over and his girlfriend, Jamie, and um, they had the gender of the baby. So I found out that I'm getting a grandson in April. So we're pretty excited about that. His name is going to be Blaine Michael Webb, and he's going to be here in April, and we're very excited. So good news, good news. Oh, and then me and some other people have had um, have been surviving migraines. So I feel like I have migraine face. So if I look really weird, y'all need to be gracious because migraines. Okay. Are y'all ready to jump in and see these images? I am. Let's go. All right. There we go. All right. So the first um, series we're going to look at was ordinary. Let's see what you guys looked at for that. Oh, there we go. Sorry, technical issues. Um, this was from Eve Roberts. This cracked me up. I know for a fact that JR is not very happy about wearing a mask. And um, I've kind of come to detest that new phrase, the new ordinary. Uh, I think a lot of us are sick of hearing that. But anyway, but this is ordinary now. We're having to wear a mask to leave our house. Um, we're trying to keep everybody safe, so <laughs> I thought that was neat that she's commemorating that. Um, what I love about this challenge is that we are um, cultivating um, some fun images of what our life is like and what's important to us, so I love that. Uh, this, I loved, Nettie posted this, she called it ordinary um, piece of wood became something beautiful. Um, this was made by Don Dixon. I mentioned him, I think last week, the guy that made the door, he makes crosses. And I know that he, he made this one. And so I'm sure she absolutely treasures it. So um, well done. Well done. <laughs> this is Brianna. She's hysterical. This is her life being a little bit of chaos. And I can really relate to this image. <laughs> I think these are so fun. Stuff like this is what makes it hilarious. I love that she's documenting that. The next uh, day we did Inspire. Um, this um, Bible verse, uh, Nettie had written on her heart whenever she uh, was battling cancer. And so she has it written on her hand. So I love that that's a neat daily reminder. Um, uh, this one also I thought was very wonderful. Um, Dawn Manley has this in her home up front where she sees it every single day. And it just reminds her that she is blessed. Even if our days aren't going as well as we would like, we are blessed. This is from Madeline. I, I've told you guys about her. She's like, this is just an ordinary day practicing her archery. And um, I love that she's pursuing something that she loves, but she was just talking about how she enjoys the peace and the quiet of it all and just being, doing her thing. I love that. I love that. Um, I want to say that this was Debbie that posted this one. I really should start putting the names because I never can remember all the names. I think Debbie posted this of the sunset. If it's not Debbie, please correct me down in the comments below on who did this. So, but this is a beautiful sunset. The, the sunrises and the sunsets here are truly are inspirational. And I have taken many photographs of our sunrises and sunsets here. Um, the next one was hobby. I, I thought this was going to be interesting to see what everybody was into. Dawn is a reader like me, and she also sings very, very well, unlike me. <laughs> this was Madeline, and when I first saw this, I, I saw the last name, so I, I was, in my mind, I was thinking it was Eleanor, and then I went back, I'm like, no, both of the sisters draw. Both of them draw. Very talented family. I don't draw either. <laughs> um, this was um, from um, Eve Roberts. She, Eve loves taking 
photographs as much as I do. And she's mentioned in the post, and then she's mentioned to me before when she saw my camera collection, how her first camera was a Polaroid Swinger camera. And I don't have one of those, but um, that's what got her started into photography. Mine was a 35 millimeter Vivitar, and I loved my camera, and I don't know what happened to it, but I loved my, it was like a cheap little one shot point and click camera, but that's kind of what got me hooked. So um, I did not know that Nettie refinished furniture. She um, repurposes it and makes it beautiful again. I had no idea that she did this. That's quite a chore to do. Um, rejuvenate. Now, this one kind of stepped on my toes a little bit. I've been working really hard. I've not been resting. I have been going, going, going. And so this, I was like, yeah, I need to do more of this. This was um, Mandy's post and she says that she is a soap snob and her post had a flurry of activities. This is made by a local girl. Um, she lives in Br Bridgeport and she sells it in a couple of places and you can find the links in the, the page. But I love that Mandy's like reminding us that we should shop local as much as we can and, and that she loves her soap. So that I love that. I love that she's, she takes time to rejuvenate and pampers herself. Um, that was a good idea. This is from Sherla Williams. She's also a photo nut like I am. And she was out shooting and um, she loves her camera as much as I do. I think we might even have the same camera. I'm not sure. What do you shoot with, Sherla? You're going to let me know what your camera you've got. I've got a 5D Mark III. What do you have? Um, I also have a battery grip that I never use. So there's that. Um, oh, here's another sunset. Oh, I really need to put who puts which ones on the slides because I don't ever remember. This is a striking image. I loved the sunset behind the tree. This was a gorgeous capture. I thought she did a good job. Friday. I wanted to see how you guys kind of celebrated your Fridays. Um, this is from the famous Eva Miller. And if you have not been following her from Fractured to Fabulous, you need to. She is hysterical hysterical. She's full of wisdom, and um, but she'll, she'll tell it to you straight, so we all need people like that, and she bought Christmas shoes the other day. I'm like, you did what? And that is just so perfect, so but anyway, she is just celebrating with her grandbaby Peyton. I bet, I think that's Peyton. I know she's got more than one grandbaby. I think this one was Peyton. Um, here is Nettie. Um, she's just enjoying being alive. Um, I love spending time with Nettie. She always reminds me that I need to worry less about stupid things. So this was Mandy Roberts. She was talking about how she was celebrating with her husband. They went on a date night. She went and had sushi. And um, Glenn and I try to have a date night every Sunday afternoon. And um, I have to tell you, it's become one of my favorite things. So I'm glad that they're having a good time together. But I can't see Wasabi without thinking of um, uh, the Pixar movie Cars 2. And that guy thought the wasabi was the guacamole and he ate all of it. I just thought that was hilarious. <laughs> this was a gift that Debbie had received her um, daughter or daughter-in-law, I want to say daughter-in-law, crochets. And she made her a Bible cover. And I thought that was so precious. That's a neat gift to give. Now outside, I need to be outside more than I am. Sweet Glenn has been outside all day working on building um, a trellis for my mom's plants. So if you drive by my house, notice the, the trellis for my mom. He, he's worked all day in this cold. He thought the weather's been so warm and beautiful. And then he gets a week off and it turns nasty, of course. <laughs> um, this was a great picture. Eve took a great capture from leaving her vacation. And I love that JR is not too manly to um, carry his girl's pink backpack because he's so sweet. So, um, I know that she had a great time on her vacation and this was a great picture. This one was Debbie's. She posted just being out in the backyard, just a little piece of quiet and just lovely view. I love that. Here is Miss Peyton, Eva Miller's grandbaby, and she is a cutie patootie and she just looks like she's a bundle of joy. And they were outside playing together. I, I, they have a lot of fun together. They, I see a lot of pictures of them doing fun things together. That's wonderful. And this one made me a little jealous. Okay, I'm lying. It made me a lot jealous. Robert Inlow posted this, and this is his favorite place. I think he said this was the YMCA camp in Colorado. And um, I want to, was it Estes Park? 
I might be wrong. I need to write this stuff down. I'm always in such a hurry. Um, but I too absolutely am obsessed with Colorado. I think it's so beautiful there and um, they love dogs. So, but yes, that's a lovely place, Robert. Um, wish I was there. <laughs> now, this is another one from Sherla. Um, I'm not sure where she took this image at, but she did a great job shooting. Um, she does great images, great captures. Um, and it looks so much like a section at the grasslands where I live, but I know it's not. So I'm interested to know where she shot her image at. So um, be sure and let me know. All right, guys, another great week. Um, next week, we're going to have the backgrounds. And this is the last week they're going to be orange and they're going to be moving to green because we're getting into the holidays. I am so proud how faithful some of you have been. And I know some of you are crazy busy and just even getting one picture in is an accomplishment. I understand. And thanks for being a part of it. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you next week. Thanks a lot. Bye. Oh, can I leave the meeting this time without leaving 12 times? <laughs> Bye.